Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to animate a very simple walk cycle. Now this walk cycle here is by no means a very accurate walk cycle because anybody who's ever studied anything with walk cycles and animation, you know that there's a lot more to just making the arms and the legs move. There's movement and rotation in the hips, the shoulders, the head. It's a lot more complicated, but the goal here is just to cover the basics of just getting a walk going using a very simple rig. Now, if you want this 3D character, you can download it for free in the description. I'll mention that in a second. Um, it's just one of my characters that I've made available. And if you wanna learn how to rig your own character of this exact rig, um, you can watch the video I uploaded before this one, which covers that in great detail as well. But as you can see, this is the final result here. Like I said, by no means the most realistic walk cycle, but it's just kind of giving you the general idea of how to do a walk cycle with a low poly character and a simple rig. So let's jump in and I'll be providing all the resources you need. First of all, if you want to download the exact same model I'm going to be using, um, I've made it available on my Gumroad for 100% free. All you have to do once you sign up is just put in zero dollars and you can download it. If you want to make a donation, that's completely up to you, but no pressure. Okay, with that done, you would have extracted the zip file and then opened it up. And this is what you're going to see. Now, um, it should be just an object mode at first, but what we're going to do, you're going to actually select the rig of the character. Okay, and you're going to come up here to where it says object mode and you're going to change it to pose mode. And inside of here is where we can actually grab our bones and um, move them around to do our animation. Okay, now just one small little thing we're going to do before we actually do this tutorial. And you don't have to do it, I just think it's better. Um, I actually set this rig up in a previous tutorial. So if you want to learn how to make this exact low poly rig, you can actually watch um, the tutorial on my channel. But the thing here is, I actually parented these um, um, sort of roll bones for the leg, the target bones. I um, parented them to the root bone and that's fine, that'll still work. But what we're gonna quickly do is we're just gonna quickly go into edit mode. And all you have to simply do is it's gonna take just a few seconds is just select this one over here and then holding and shift select the one for its matching leg, this bone at the back, that's just a control bone, the one sticking out of the foot. So this one and this one, and then just go control P and then go keep offset. And you don't have to do the other one because that's happened automatically because the X mirror here is enabled. So it's automatically done that. So now we're just gonna quickly go back into pose mode and now that's fine. Like I said, that's optional. It doesn't actually really matter, um, but I think that's just gonna make things a little bit easier when we're doing the animation. Okay, so now with that done, let's jump into it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into our left orthographic view. So um, the way I did that is just control and then number pad three, um, or you can just come up here to view, go down to viewport and just go to the left orthographic view. So let's have a quick look at the basic game plan here, what we're trying to do. We're gonna start with the contact pose, then we're gonna work down to um, the down pose, the pass pose, and then the up pose, okay? And then what we're gonna do, instead of having to do the next contact pose all over again, we'll just copy and invert the first contact pose, and then we'll continue doing that. And this is gonna make the process a lot simpler, especially if you're a beginner. That means we only have to do these four poses over here, and that's gonna be it. So let's jump into it. So what we're gonna do is in our left orthographic view here, we're gonna to come to our view, and we're gonna grab this leg over here, the leg closest to us. And we're gonna go G and Y, and we're gonna move that forward to about here, and then we're gonna go R to rotate it. Now you can see it's kind of pulled apart here, don't worry about that. All you're gonna do is just grab your hip over here and go G, Z, and just move that down a little bit, like so, until it kind of like connects over here, okay? So we brought a hip down and then let's grab this leg over here and that's the one on the other side. We're gonna go G, Y and we're just gonna move that one back. And we're gonna go R to rotate that one. And we're just gonna go G and we're gonna move it up like so. And then we'll grab this toe over here. We'll just go R to rotate it. Let's grab this foot control bone again and just place it down like so. And I might just grab the hip and go G, Z, maybe move it just up just a little bit. And what we're gonna also do is do the arms over here. So let's grab this controller here that's closest to us, the one over here. And in our left orthographic view, we're gonna go G and move that back a little bit. And then R to rotate the handle slightly. And then let's grab this one over here. And then let's go back to our left orthographic view. 
And let's go G and move that one kind of forward like so. And then all we have to do is go into our front orthographic view. Let's just move this arm by the side, rotate the hand. Let's grab this arm, move it in by the side, rotate the hand, just like so. It's all you have to do, very, very simple. Okay, so now let's go back into our left orthographic view. You should see something like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press A to select everything and on frame zero here, you're gonna press I and you're gonna insert a keyframe. Now, if you're using a newer, an older version of Blender, okay, I'm currently using Blender 4.2, but if you're using, for example, like a previous version, if you press I, you're gonna get a whole bunch of options um, show up for the keyframes. And you're just gonna go with scale, rotation, and location, just do all of those, okay? In Blender 4.2 and onwards, you just press I and it automatically adds all those in anyway without giving you the options. So we've now added a keyframe for the rotation and the location for all of these on frame zero. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to frame 10. And on frame 10, we're gonna grab this hip and we're gonna go G, Z and bring it down. In fact, let's enable our auto keying. So anything we do now is gonna automatically add in the key. So let's just go G, Z and move it again on just a little bit. So now it's added a keyframe for that on frame 10. And it's lower than it was on frame zero. And we're simply gonna take our foot now over here. We're just gonna rotate it and flatten it like so. And let's just go G, Y and just kind of move it in a little bit. And then let's grab our other leg here and let's rotate that. Let's go G to move it up a bit and then rotate this toe. And let's rotate it back like so. So we just have the foot kind of like this. And let's move that one back just a little bit more. And I might just actually go G, Z and just move the hip up just a little bit more like that. And there you go, you can kind of see this is what we have. And let's grab this arm over here that's closest to us. And let's go G and move that back even more. And then let's grab the other arm and let's go G and move that kind of forward even more and rotate the hand a little bit. And then let's press A to select everything and press I and insert a keyframe over there. So now we have a down pose. If we go to frame zero and we drag through, we can see this is what we have, okay? And now we're gonna go up to frame 20 and in frame 20, we're gonna have our pass pose. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this hip bone. We're gonna go G, Z and move it all the way up. And then let's grab this leg that's closest to us. We're gonna go G, Y and move it to the middle like so. And we'll grab the hip, maybe move it up just a little bit more. And then let's grab this leg. Let's go G and bend it and kind of bring it in. So it's past the other leg a little bit. And I'm just gonna grab that hip and go G, Z, move it up just a little bit more. So this is the pose we have like that, okay? And then let's grab this arm over here that's closest to us. Let's go G and move it kind of to the middle of the body. R to rotate the hand a little bit. And let's grab the other one. Let's go G and move that one in. So they're kind of at the same place. Okay, just at the side of the body like this. And that's on frame 20. So back in our left orthographic view, with all that done, we're gonna press A to select everything and we're gonna press I to insert a keyframe on frame 20. And then finally, we're gonna to go to frame 30 and we're gonna do our up pose. So now we're gonna take the leg that's closest to us. Okay, the one over here at the front. And in our left orthographic view, we're gonna go G, Y and move it back and then R to rotate it. And then G just to move it up a little bit like so. And let's just rotate that toe slightly and place it right over here like that. So it's going back. And we might just grab that hip and just go G, Z and just move it down just a little bit. So something like that. And then now let's grab the other leg on the other side, the one that's furthest away from us. And now left orthographic view, we're gonna go G and move that one down and forward and kind of rotate it like so. There we go. Something like that. Then press A to select everything, go I to insert a keyframe. So now if we go to frame zero and we hit the space bar, we can see we have this movement, okay? So what we're gonna do from here is we wanna make our next contact pose, which is this one over here. And if you look, it's actually just an inverse of the first contact pose. So a simple way to do that is to just inverse the first one here. So we're gonna to come to the very first keyframe. We're gonna press A to make sure everything is selected. I'm gonna press Control C to copy everything. 
And then we're gonna drag through to frame 40. And in frame 40, we're gonna go Control Shift V. And that's gonna paste the one we copied here in the inverse. Now, the reason this is possible is because of how we set up the naming convention. Once again, if you wanna learn how to make this exact same rig, you can go ahead and watch the tutorial on my channel. It's a video I uploaded before this one. Covers that in great detail, showing you how to make this rig. But now we have an inverse over here of the first one that we had, okay? And all we're gonna do from here is work our way up. So we're now gonna to come to frame 10. And on frame 10, with everything selected, we're gonna go Control C to copy it. I'm gonna come over to frame 50 and then go over here, Control Shift V to paste the inverse of frame 10. Then let's come over to frame 20. Let's go Control C to copy that. Let's come over to frame 60 and then go Control Shift V to paste that in. And then let's come up to frame 30 now. With everything selected, go Control C. Then go up to frame 70 and go Control Shift V. And then finally, all you have to do is with everything still active, is go to frame one, go Control C to copy everything, and then come all the way to the very end and then just go Control V, not Control Shift V, but just Control V. And now the ending frame and the first frame are exactly the same. So what we're gonna do now is just bump this down to 79 so we don't have an overlapping frame. If we now go to frame zero, let's turn off Auto King. If we now hit the space bar, we should see our walk cycle. Okay, now it's a little bit rough, but it kind of gives you a, uh, the kind of general idea of the walk cycle, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna press A to select everything. Let's just come to frame um, zero. Make sure our um, slider is on here. And then let's just go S and scale it down till everything is 40 frames long. And let's change this to 39 frames. Oops, I meant to say 39, okay? So now this is all gonna happen like so. Now it's a little bit robotic, but the idea here was just to kind of get the general idea of a walk cycle. Now I think the thing that's wrong here is we forgot to act to do the um, we forgot to do the arms for one of the steps, but that's really simple. If we just drag through here and let's come to frame 10 and then come up to 15, let's just follow that action through. So in frame 15, in our left orthographic view, let's just grab the arm that's closest to us. Let's just kind of move it forward a little bit. And then let's grab the other arm controller here. And in our left orthographic view, let's just move that one back a little bit. And make sure to select both of those and go I to insert a keyframe on frame 15. And then let's do the same thing over here. As it comes back, let's come to frame 35. Let's enable auto keying. And one that's closest to us, we're just gonna go and move that one back and then grab the other one and kind of move it forward a little bit, like so. So now let's go to frame zero, hit the space bar. And now we can see that arms are looking a little bit better, okay? Now, obviously, like I said, this is looking very robotic. And the reason is, is because the human movement is a lot more complicated than this. Um, so there's a lot more little movements in the hip. But the idea here was just to show you the general idea of a walk cycle, okay? Just a general idea of having the movement here in the character using a very simple rig. Now, this is almost more like a very kind of stealthy walk. So very quiet. So that's kind of what I was going for here because it's a ninja, but I hope you guys kind of understand what we're doing here. And I'll quickly show you again the diagram. So this is what we were following, if you will, these exact sort of movements. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely go ahead and download the free model and I'll see you guys next time.